Tom presents High Five Sports. It's in your face. Ken and Super Blaine trapped inside of a truck. Trust me, I love Blaine Cummett, but being trapped inside of a truck's not my idea of an ideal day. Hey, hey, Blaine, hold this a second, just so everybody knows what, what Super Blaine is doing here. Oh, I turned off the light. There you go, Blaine. We fixed my mess. Where's the light? There it is. <laughs> <laughs> I broke something. I knew. No, he he didn't break anything. <laughs> Here you go. You take that back. <laughs> Blaine's mad at me now. Take a look. It's still raining pretty hard. We've had lightning coming down everywhere. Oh, Blaine's really mad. We're at the doghouse, Tri Cities High School, and uh, it was the last stop on day one of our Hi Fi Sports Caravan. We're going to fix a light and first show you day one as it went. Day one of the High Five Sports Caravan begins Southside near Atlanta Motor Speedway, which is a reminder, this is a marathon, not a race. Whew. First stop, Hampton High School, home of the Hornets, and there's a buzz surrounding this second year school where seniors Tyrus Mitchell and Matthew Gentleholm hope to make memories and light up that scoreboard this season. We are a new school, we went 0-10 last year. We really didn't have the support behind us, but we realized all we need is our teammates. <laughs> Eagles Landing High School. They're pressing forward with good cheer thanks to solid leadership following the tragic death of head coach Joe Technip last month. Sean Jones was thrust into the head coaching job and he's up for the challenge of getting the Golden Eagles through the heartache and back to the postseason. Our student body and the community at large has done a really good job of uh, embracing us. <laughs> Grand reception at Eagles Landing Christian where the whole student body turned out in force. And why wouldn't they? The last time the High Five Caravan rolled through here, the Eagles won the state title. You glad to see us again? Oh yeah, you guys are good luck for us. So hopefully that happens again this year. We're at Eagles Landing Christian and High Five Sports is... <laughs> The High Five Caravan crew has worked up an appetite. It's time to pig out. How about the lunchbox in McDonough? Well, what's cooking at the lunchbox, Diane? Everybody here at the lunchbox knows that. High Five is in your face. Nice job and a great lunch at the lunchbox. In Riverdale, Drew High School, home of the mighty, mighty Titans. Seven and four last season, making this year's seniors hungry to make a bigger showing. Our friends at Hateful Charter are getting all pumped up in the weight room and in the class. Class, you know what today's lesson is. High five sports is in your face. Well, that's the word from the south side. Meantime, our teammates, Cody Chaffins and Justin Felder, took on the east side of our viewing area, and this is how their day went on the caravan trail. Let's go! Hey, Rod, we started off hitting the weights with story program Lincoln County, who's lost three straight games to arch rival Washington Wilkes. You are judged in Lincoln County on two things, beating Washington Wilkes and winning the state championship. All right, so our next stop is Washington Wilkes. Do we need to relay any message from the senior class over here? They better be ready for Lincoln. That's all I'm going to say. So, we got to head to Washington Wilkes. We just came from Lincoln County. They seem pretty confident that they're going to end your winning streak. What do you think about that? Uh, I ain't, I'm not too sure about that one. Uh, we just come out there. We're going to play hard. We're going we gonna to bring it to them. It's more than just games for the Tigers. It's where the whole community comes together. It truly is. There is no segregation. There's no black and white. It's blue and gold. Everybody comes together. It brings everybody together, and it's truly an amazing thing. As our tour rolled on, former UGA and NFL running back Robert Edwards and a very spirited bunch at Green County. They say they want it. They say they want it. They it's their time to shine. You can see they're excited. We're excited. So I'm excited for them. Let's get back on the road. How can we top this? Now that kind of wore us out. Needed some buttermilk pie for Cody at Yesterday Cafe in Greensboro. It hit the spot. All right, on to Social Circle. Middle school and high school in attendance for a dance competition. Right in front of a brand new field. What's it going to be like to break it in? Uh, just play on it. Keep playing Friday nights, winning, hopefully we get a couple more. It's increased school morale tremendously because before everything was spread out, now it's all right here on campus. Finally to East Side, first year head coach Troy Hoff has his guys ready to go. There's only one opening day. Baseball, it's a big deal opening day. Football, that first Friday night's exciting. I'm excited for our kids. 
Ooh, it is a steam bath at Eastside High School practice. That's it for day one of Team Cody and Justin. Where are we going on Tuesday? We got Buford, we got Norcross, we got Peachtree Ridge. We got some big schools for you, K-Rod. Day one was awesome. We'll see if those schools tomorrow can top it. In Covington, I'm Justin Felder, Fox 5 Sports. All the fun we're having, be sure to join us tomorrow. Day two of the High Five Caravan. Follow us on Twitter and on Facebook, and don't forget the hashtag High Five Sports. We are having a blast. Blaine and I, I guess we're having a yeah, good time. Yeah, we're having a good time. We'll see you tonight at 10 with a complete wrap up of today's fun. You won't see melt you in the rain, no, Kenny. You won't no. melt. No, he did the right thing, though. Yeah. You don't want to play around with lightning. All That's right. For sure. Better day tomorrow, hopefully. All right.